So, you know, it's funny, because these are the same arguments that were made in 96, when Californians were considering Prop 215 to legalize medical marijuana. People said that it would increase use, that it would increase drug driving, that it would create all kinds of problems, it would increase crime, etc. None of those things have happened. You know, one of the reasons that there is so much public support for these initiatives is that we've now had enough experience in enough states for people to actually understand that these arguments don't work. And to say that, you know, having marijuana legalization is going to lead to big tobacco, all we have to do is look abroad at the other countries that have liberalized their marijuana laws to see that that's not the case. I just came from Amsterdam last month, and to me, that's the future of marijuana legalization. And what I want people to know is that the future of marijuana legalization is boring. When you go into any place in Amsterdam, it's the same as going to a restaurant or to a bar. People order weed the way they would order a glass of wine. They sit and use with their other adult friends in a completely responsible way. They've actually seen a decrease in addiction to harder drugs since um, the Netherlands liberalized their marijuana laws. They haven't seen an increase in crime among youth or any other group. And because of regulation, they actually have better control over the products that people are accessing. So I think that Kevin Sabet is running a line that we've heard before, but which experience tells us is different. And with respect to the harms associated with marijuana use, there are no drugs that people can use that don't have some harms associated with them. That's true whether or not you're talking about coffee, tobacco, alcohol. Um, Ambien or any number of other products that people put into their body. But the issue here is how do you promote responsible use? How do you promote moderate use? And quite frankly, none of that can be done in a, prohibi in a pro prohibition scheme. The whole problem with prohibition in general is that it drives people to use drugs in more dangerous ways. And while Kevin would like people to believe that the issue can be solved through decriminalization, I think that you, Amy, and Juan know living in New York City, that decrim is not enough. New York decriminalized marijuana possession in 1977. In 1997 and 2007, New York City was leading the country in arresting people for marijuana possessions, because decrim alone is not enough. It's only legalization that's going to provide real protection for vulnerable people.